So progress is coming along. Uh, I've got uh, all four motors installed. I got the camera installed, although I'm still waiting on some parts for that. Uh, what I did is uh, took some two millimeter bolts, put them through the side with some rubber grommets and a couple of two millimeter nuts. Um, it is a micro camera, obviously, so it's a little too small for it, uh, but I did want to use it since I have it. Um, I've got a, an actual adapter coming that will uh, go in here better. Obviously, this may end up snapping, um, but at least it should get me in the air. I've got the ESC wired up, and uh, of course, I still need to get my power cable in here, uh, get a capacitor going. I have the... Um, Video transmitter should be showing up in the mail today, hopefully. I've also been uh, using conformal coating. So the underside of the um, ESC has already been conformal coated. So has the underside of uh, the flight controller. This is actually going to sit in here exactly as it should. So the arrow is going to be pointing towards that way. Uh, that'll sit right here. So the GIP 210 is finally together. I've got some uh, T5045Cs on here. I believe that's what they are. They're DAL props. Um, as I said, I haven't received my uh, official camera um, adapter yet, so it's uh, it's in there. Um, it doesn't seem to wobble much, so that's good. Uh, behind that is the buzzer. Um, I have the X-T60 coming out from the back here. I have a Lollipop version 3 on the back. Uh, I have some UmaGrip for the battery to go on the top. The um, receiver is an RSXR. I have those coming out from the side here. The nice part is, is I can actually get to the USB uh, port here, which I wasn't able to do on the old board. I had to actually take it apart to get to it. It is definitely a very crammed um, setup. Again, there's only 15 millimeters of space inside here. But I was able to get everything in there. I have it uh, tested. Um, I have a Betaflight 3.5.2 installed already. I flashed all of the, uh, the ESCs with the latest uh, 16.7. Um, wired up the LEDs in the back, so those actually worked. One last little item to point out here. Anybody who's uh, building their uh, quadcopters from scratch, uh, I think this is definitely a must-have item. This is the smoke stopper. It's the XT60 version from uh, Race Day Quads. Definitely a worthwhile, I think it's a $7 investment. So before you plug your battery directly into the quad, make sure you plug in the smoke stopper first and then plug in your battery to the smoke stopper. And voila, there's the LEDs as well, all lit up. So let's take it outside. So of course the day is kind of nasty. That's what I get for living in the Northeast now instead of the Southeast. But uh, let's see what we get. And round two. Yep, seems to hover perfectly fine. I think it's time to try some FBB.
Got these from Amazon. That's what the last flight was on. Sorry for the bad audio. There's probably a lot of wind noise because the wind is really blowing out here. Um, but I got. I'm very impressed. Um, not very hot at all. It's like you know, warm to the touch, but it's not hot. Obviously, I wasn't going crazy. That was the first time I rode the GEP, and uh, also the first time I used this battery. But pretty nice. I'm impressed with the money. Whew. Man, that was fun. Uh, too bad I only got two batteries so far in 4S. I would have loved to stay out there and uh, fly a little bit longer. Although the winds were gusting at about 20 miles an hour, so it was definitely, um, you, you, you probably noticed in the footage that it is shaking a little bit left and right. Um, obviously, I'm not the best pilot in the world. Haven't been flying for a long time. Um, but uh, this is all for fun for me. Obviously, I'm not a professional racer, professional pilot. Um, I'm I'm in love with this thing. Uh, this uh, Mamba F4 stack did really really good uh, with uh, the ESCs and these uh, Tachyon uh, 2306 motors. These things are amazing compared to the 1806 motors I had on there before. Uh, the Lollipop V2 did really good. Um, I did not get the Eshin TX805 in time, so there's actually a AKK uh, X2M inside of here. Um, uh, Picked that up from Amazon because Banggood orders sometimes can take forever to get here. So definitely going to continue flying this thing. Uh, a lot of fun. Um, it has the uh, Monster Micro Pro camera on the front, by the way. I don't think I mentioned that before. Um, sporting an RDQ uh, strap. I am kind of disappointed with the strap. It's starting to come apart already. But uh, it, it was a freebie, so I can't ask for much there. Um, the reason I'm disappointed is because in order for you to change the strap, you have to actually undo the stack to get enough room to get another uh, strap in there. So I'm probably going to have to order some Kevlar straps or something that's a little bit stronger that I don't have to worry about changing as often because pulling the stack apart is definitely not a lot of fun. Um, anyways, definitely recommend the Mamba stack. Uh, anybody looking for an inexpensive stack that does really good, um, pick it up. 45 bucks, can't go wrong. Any questions at all, feel free to uh, leave them down in the comments below. I'll try to post some additional videos here. I know the day was kind of gloomy and nasty, but I wanted to at least get it out there and test it out. Um, so hopefully you like the video. Uh, give it a big thumbs up if you did. If you didn't, click that dislike button. No big deal. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. I have some more uh, videos coming. I still have the IH3 build that I'm uh, almost done. I've actually uh, started wiring the R9MM already. So hopefully... 
next week or next weekend I'll be able to give that one a nice uh, flight as well and give you my thoughts on all the components in there. So again, thanks for watching. Hopefully you have a wonderful rest of the day.